Hi, I'm Ladi and this is my new improved e-bike version 5. This is a powerful electric bicycle with 17 kilowatt peak power, 100 kilometers an hour maximum speed and a comfortable 80 kilometers of range. I call it e-bike version 5. The entire front suspension and braking system is redesigned. Now with whole new motorcycle front suspension and brake, 22S 10P battery pack, which is 92 volts and 3.8 kilowatt hours capacity, new cooler controller with display, ATS speed drive 1 to 2.5 ratio, 1800 watt charger fully charging the bike in two hours and very sexy redesigned lights. So what I really like about these bikes is of course there's this big argument that oh, you're lazy. Well, let me explain, it has nothing to do with laziness. This is completely different mode. It's like complaining to motorcyclists that he's lazy not to paddle. That's like complaining about somebody buying a car instead of riding a horse to work. <laughs> it's just its own category. We love when we see a new environment with this camper van, how quickly we can explore big radius and get familiar with the environment for hikes, for fun, for grocery stores, for anything. <laughs> the version 5 is its own category of transportation for daily commuting. It requires almost no maintenance and dramatically cuts my expenses. I spend most of my time on a 80 km range, so most of my commutes happen on this bike. We are able to charge both of our electric bikes from our camper van with 1 kW solar power or if it's a cloudy day from a 13 kWh lithium power bank in the garage. This van feels like an unlimited power refill station, all for free. It makes me so happy that this camper is fulfilling its potential by supporting the usage of these bikes all the time. Because once you have a powerful e-bike like this, you want to be riding constantly. It brings a very joyful dynamic in life. This is where I store my lithium, it's right on the rear axle for weight distribution. Uh, there's a fridge from the other side and this big beast you can see is a power inverter. Something really interesting about this bike that I'm actually not converting the power. This is 48 volt system DC, this is AC. These bikes are really cool because they can handle any DC current lower than battery minimum. In this case, it would be anything lower than 66 volts can charge my bike directly by just stepping up the voltage from, in my case, 48 volt system to 92 volts. That is awesome. It's super effective energy exchange that I'm just charging to the battery throughout the day from the solars and then take it out anytime to my bikes. <laughs> So I just have a connector that's only fused on the other side. I need to have a controller on and I plug it in and that's all I do. <laughs> so we have a lot of moments when we have sunny days when I can just be charging all the time. 
because the battery is fully charged, I have nowhere to put the power from Solars. So it only encourages to ride more. <laughs> and that's the situation you want to be in. <laughs> Me and my wife Margaret like to drive big distances in the comfort of our camper van, which we've just began to live in full time. We look for nice locations here in Europe and once we park the van, we use the bikes to get familiar with new environment very quickly. We scout access to water, groceries, views and nice photo opportunities without having to deal with parking traffic or roads that are way too difficult for our camper van. I built a motorized solar array tilt to maximize power input. So regardless of the season, we can make the most of the sun when it's shining. This is our first summer of testing the van and so far, based on our experience, it will be very rare to run out of power. On an average sunny day, we've sort of had to force riding bikes just to maximize all of this 1 kilowatt solar array potential. I even captured charging with 1300 watts from the solar. That's crazy, these are 1000 watt solars and I didn't expect it would be more than 1000, I actually expected like 870 watts. So far it's a good feeling, <laughs> we'll see how it goes next. It's a different feeling riding or traveling with e-bikes versus motorcycles. Once you purchase the e-bike, it's almost stupid not to ride it all the time because it costs so little to run. That gives us the right life dynamic and the movement in this beautiful world. Our van's bed is motorized, so we have easy access to both of our bikes in the garage. I have a remote control to lift the bed up to make loading and unloading the bikes much easier. It's a tight fit, but was a main demand of ours when building the van. This is how easy it is. I just turn on the controller, take the charging wire, whatever you have. If you have a 12 volt system, you just easily go to settings here, device, converter, and I would supply, I would change supply max to lower amperage if you don't want to be stressing your system too much. And now when I plug it in, and I can show you here on a BMS that immediately changes to charging mode. It shows me the charging current. It's 10 amps in this case, 800 watts. And here on a BMS, you can see that it's charging here efficiently with 780 watts. And if I go to the main battery, this is the battery that is in my van. You can see it's a 12S configuration. That this charging now with two amps, it drains from the battery and the rest goes straight from the solar to this bike. And when you take care of the battery, you keep it in a nominal voltage when it's not using, you don't necessarily fully discharge it every time. The battery is gonna make, you, make me a good amount of fun time for sure. Unlike on any other bikes, pedaling is independent from throttle on this bike. You only pedal as much as you want to feel your muscles, not to push the bike forward. Additional accessory is ATS, which is High Speed Pedaling Transmission Crank, allowing you to pedal up to 80 km an hour. 
What ATS does is this pedaling crank has a 1 to 2.5 ratio for pedaling. That means you go two and a half times faster than you actually pedal. Look at this, if I go backwards versus when I just heel kick, see? Just set it up, heel kick, much, much faster. Perfect example of the shroom is just heel kick. Now you can see I have a one-to-one -one ratio for pedaling. And if I do the right heel kick, I pedal two and a half times faster. New dynamic element used on these bikes is dynamic regen lever. As much as I push it, that's as much as I brake, dynamically changing the braking intensity. The big benefit of this is non-friction braking because I'm only using motor magnets to slow the bike down and use the power for charging the battery back. So going down the hill is a lot of fun where I purposely pedal as much as I can because I see how much I'm charging back to the battery. What I really like is having a regen lever on the left hand together with a front mechanical brake. Allows me to brake with both wheels at the same time on one hand. It's fully customizable so for guys who want to be practicing wheelies it's definitely better to have a rear mechanical brake on the left side just in case you reach the critical angle to kick the bike back. I'm guys, I'm not I'm not trying to sell you these guys all the time even though it might like it. I'm genuinely just so passionate about them. I used to ride motorcycles, I had Ninja, I had GSX-R 750. I would never go back to motorcycles because this local explore, exploring and local usage is much better for me than just doing a bigger radius on a stronger motorcycle and just always throwing around money just for temporarily fun. I don't know. This to me gives me bigger satisfaction because it's a tool. It's a tool slash fun toy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, I'm glad you made it all the way to the end. This is not a replacement for e-bike version 4.2, this is just maxed out version. 4.2 is a still great bike for its value. We ship these as kits, we ship these as finished bikes and you should check out what else we offer on mysuperebike.com where you can see really interesting mid-drive 27 kilowatt powerful electric motorcycle so see you next time in another video and keep an eye on this channel we publish more cool videos <laughs> see you